Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Today is day one of studying for my mid-year exams in med school. It is a productive, jam-packed day of revision. So grab a coffee, grab your snacks, sit back and watch the struggle. I wake up at 7.30 a.m. but it is freezing outside and I have a bad cold. So I stay snuggled in my bed for another 15 minutes, thinking about ways I can convince myself to put off starting the work till tomorrow. I eventually get over the initial laziness though and roll out of bed. I then brush my teeth and step out for a bit of fresh air. The nice calm feeling outside is actually one of the biggest silver linings of starting the day this early. Good morning everyone, it is Monday. I am a week into my winter break. I'm in my family home back in Lahore. Exams are in four weeks from now and I promised myself that I would start studying today and that's what we're gonna do. We're starting with all the stuff I did back in week one of medical school, case one. I think it was the female reproductive system. We're cracking on with the PowerPoints I made, the questions I did. I'm planning on doing around eight to 10 hours today. Solid study session, first day, let's go. But I need to take a shower, I need to eat. I'll see you guys in a bit. I go down to make some simple eggs and brew my tea. Today, I've gone with mushrooms and tomatoes. Whenever I'm back home, I always end up descending into my old quarantine routine of watching YouTube or Netflix while I eat in the morning. But the thing is, it's so sacred. It's when you completely unwind, relax, and get all the distractions out of your system. I start by spending 10 minutes figuring out what I actually need to know for my exams by going through the learning outcomes of the case. Back in term time, I copied all of them out on a Word doc and categorized them into subheadings for each case every week. Here, I'm going through and making a quick to-do list of the things I want to accomplish today. It's a tiny thing you can do to focus yourself. But the key is, I make all my tasks fit onto that one tiny post-it note and I make them very specific. So the way that I'm planning on studying all the stuff that I have to cover per case is that I'll first try and go through all the lectures and PowerPoints, convert them into questions. I'll test myself on those questions. While I test myself, I'll try and understand all the stuff that I don't understand with the required resources. And it's going to basically be this cycle of creating these questions, testing myself on them. We're starting right from the beginning with case one. I have around 50 questions here that I've made from that case. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go through these questions and start answering them one by one, test myself on them and actually figure out what I know out of these 45, 48 questions. I've made a list of the stuff that I have to do. Let's see what we can get done. Despite not having looked at this content in weeks, Testing myself is the very first thing I do because I know that recalling knowledge and piecing it together in my head is a much stronger way of learning than just reading through the topic. I spend several minutes on each question just thinking and weirdly whispering to myself about what happens in the ovarian cycle. Yes, it's not easy to just sit there and think about the answers that you don't know. It's uncomfortable. But I know that by spending an extra 30 seconds on a question, trying to remember that topic, some piece of information will pop up and I can then use that to connect the dots about that concept. You can see me highlight each question based on its difficulty as well. Green, orange, and red. This is so that every time I come back to this topic, I can keep track of exactly what I struggled with and what I found easy. This also comes clutch when I won't have enough time to do all the questions near to the exams. Instead, I can just target the red ones and do my weakest topics quickly. Only after putting in full effort in a question do I then hop over to the lectures to improve my understanding. I've made the questions in order of the topics on the slides, so finding the answers in the moment isn't too hard. I'm a bit annoyed with myself here because I can't remember anything, even for the simple topics and questions. But I have to remind myself that this is a part of the process. I'll get the answers faster and faster with more recall sessions. I take a quick break to marinate the chicken I want to use for lunch today. I found this garlic spinach chicken thing on TikTok and I'm going to try it. Afterwards, I bash through the rest of the questions with more ease. And now the topics are starting to connect a lot more. But I'm also hungrier. I then dive straight into the next batch of questions about pregnancy and the placenta. This lecture covers the journey of an egg from fertilization to delivery, the details of implantation, what happens during all three trimesters, and the intricate functions of a placenta. 
It's a lot of topics. But surprisingly, the information on the slides is way too brief on this one. So I have to rely a lot more on Google and the notes to get detailed, better structured answers to my questions. So the questions were two out of seven of these lectures are done. Two of them are done, they're tested. But the rest of the five lectures, I still have to create those questions. I still need to go through them for the first time and convert that content into questions. I think it's going to take another like five, six hours to go through all of this stuff. It's a long, it's a long list of things. But before I start making questions from all the PowerPoints that I have to go through, I left some chicken to marinate in the morning. I'm going to quickly go check on it, fry it up, cook it, have a nice meal, and I'll be right back. See you in a second. I fry up the chicken the usual way and make this garlic spinachy sauce, which ends up being too salty. But it's still a filling meal that's off my plate in less than five minutes. I now start going through the lecture slides that I don't have any questions on. This is the stuff I haven't gone through at all. And if you've seen the last two vlogs, you know the drill. I listen to the lecture recordings on two times speed, of course, read through the slides, and then side by side convert all this content I'm consuming into questions. I do another hour of work, but at this point, I'm feeling that post-lunch sluggishness. So I lounge on the sofa for a while. Sadly, the flu has now caught up with me and I start sneezing uncontrollably. So I decide to sack off the work for now, make a nice hot chocolate and take a break for a couple hours. So I just got back. I took a break for a couple hours. I've been feeling sick for most of the day, but there's no excuses. We made a commitment at the beginning of the day to get through most of case one's content. There's a whole list of things to get through. There's still some PowerPoints I want to make questions on. I still want to do some practice questions before I call it a day. I'm going to get some tea and get through the rest of the content for this case. Let's get into it. Feeling motivated to finish the work today, I dive right in and continue going through the remaining lectures while creating questions. The amazing thing is that my work speed has literally tripled after that break, which really proves how important a simple rest can be. For some reason, the topics of this case are a lot easier to process and break down now. I think it's because of the heavy active recall sessions I did in the morning and all the time I spent understanding those harder concepts. I obviously did it for different lectures, but because all the physiology, anatomy, and histology of a single body system is interlinked, any effort you put into one part boosts your understanding of the other parts. I'm now studying how the organs in a fetus develop during pregnancy. It's quite basic stuff, but I've never looked at any of this before med school. The questions I make here are quite a mix. The long answer ones are there to make me explain a full concept to myself. And the short ones are there for the quick facts I'll need to know for the exams. I'm genuinely finding all of this really interesting and even end up doing a bit of extra research. I'm not someone who would normally do extra work like this, but it's already like 11 p.m. now. I don't really feel like doing much else other than working at this leisurely pace with those lo-fi beats. I'm really happy I pushed through and got the work done because to be honest, even though being balanced is important, it's having days like this that really make the other more social days in the week a lot more enjoyable. Hey guys, I think I am done for today. It's like 1.13 a.m. I've done most of the stuff on my list. Most of the PowerPoints are checked off. I've created questions. I've done active recall. I've done all of it. And yeah, I think that's where I'm going to end it. Hope you guys enjoyed the vlog. Leave a like and I will see you next week.